Okay. Okay, here we see the charge air system coming out of the front of the truck. It actually looks like a radiator, but it's not. Um, it's mounted to the front of the radiator. And you can see that uh, this is the part that comes out, and then these rubber boots attach to that. That line goes into your turbocharger. And these are the clamps here that I'm talking about. Um, even when the truck is running, these clamps are, are not hot, but I would have gloves on anyway to, you know, before you grab them, just so you don't cut yourself or anything. Um, and what you'll do is you'll just, you just kind of pull on the clamps, make sure they're tight. Do a visual inspection, make sure you don't see any holes or anything in those boots, uh, because having holes in those boots will cause leakage, will cause loss of power and more fuel usage. So same thing here, just pull on them real quick. And, um, and these look very tight, they look good, there's no rust on them, um, all in really good shape, okay? The other thing I kind of look at is uh, your air intake. This is where your air filter and everything goes into up on top. Just make sure the clamps are secure. Just kind of pull on that, make sure that there's nothing moving around in there, okay? So now, on the other side of the motor, as we'll walk around, okay? You'll also have the, the other part of the charge air system coming out of here. And then you'll also have a, another clamp here and one here. So you want to pull on those and make sure they're nice and tight and snug, nothing's broken. Okay. Uh, and while you're on that side, you always you know, pull the dipstick, check the oil, grab your bar here, make sure your steering column, everything's nice and tight. Check your power steering fluid, check your DAFCO filter, make sure that your fuel level in the filter is uh, on the low side so we're not clogging up there um, one other thing that you guys really kind of need to keep an eye on is these Cascadias have a tendency of these cooling clamps uh, to loosen up these are tension clamps so they don't need to be tightened really tight because they're spring loaded but you have to make sure they're, they're snug okay because if you don't you're gonna have coolant leaking so uh, there's one here you have to do and then there's one towards the bottom, and you really need to be careful when you do that, especially if the motor's hot. Um, a number eight socket is what you'll use to tighten those, okay? Um, there's uh, the hose here, or a um, clamp there, clamp there. There's also a clamp right here underneath uh, the other turbocharger. You can see that right there, where my finger is, okay? So those are the ones you want to really check thoroughly. Um, and then also, you know, make sure your coolant level is filled up. Um, this way uh, we're all good to go if you have any questions feel free to give me a call uh, everybody have a safe day thanks